Hello everyone, once again, this is a uh, video update of um, the BCA process. Um, this time I'd like to kind of share with you a basic, basic process that I follow uh, for every project that I take on, uh, whether it be a client project that comes uh, off the streets or a personally uh, pursued project uh, like my Dragon Boy character or my Strange Floaters project which you see here. This is a painting uh, which is as you can see is very different than the uh, Dragon Boy sculpture that I've been working on and sharing the last few days. Um, I have a just a variety of services and creative outlets that I follow so it makes my portfolio very hard to um, break down for people in a very easy to digest and um, a cohesive way to follow. Um, I'm kind of naturally a long long-winded individual I have a lot of ideas, I have a lot of things to say, and a lot of stuff to kind of sort through uh, mentally as I take on these projects and, and kind of navigate a mindset that allows for the production of things like screen printed items, whether they be holiday cards or uh, uh, event posters or art prints. Or, in these two cases here, linocut prints, which are more artisan, while these are more mass production kind of things. Um, or I'm doing something more creatively artisan, in which I'm using colored pencils on wood to produce one-off images that are not easily replicated. Uh, this entire process is what I consider my, or what I consider my method, the BCA method, is driven by my illustration skill. But how I navigate a client project is pretty straightforward, uh, in which I am more, much more targeted and focused and with where I'm going and what my, uh, the goals that I'm trying to hit as they are made uh, by the client needs or or what what creative solution that they're looking for. Um, so what I have here are a few samples of very recent uh, client projects that have um, come my way and I've been very uh, able to play to my strengths and develop uh, an end product um, for them in a very timely and cost-effective manner. Um, so what I have here are just a few project pitches that I've sent off, off to clients in the various conversations that I've had uh, with them in which I am using um, found references to kind of base my own thoughts on to kind of get my own creative juices flowing and then I sit down and I develop uh, original visions for them so for this project here we're replicating a mall sign uh, something that can be used as a prop or in the background to give in this case a uh, film project a very time specific feeling so that you kind of get a general internal universe sense. Uh, so you're trying to hit like a specific time, in this case the 1980s, and then thinking about how to make this prop look not cheap and authentic. So there's a lot of thought in, in directing a project, doing illustrations work, and then giving clients a, a range of options to go through um, because there's so many different styles 
that you can follow for a mall sign. There's so many different ways that you can kind of capture a feeling and then you don't want to overwhelm the uh, client with all of this stuff all of the time because it's very hard to pick through. Uh, so you give them options and then eventually through conversations you're able to come up with a final product uh, which is found here in a screenshot of the movie uh, that was uh, that eventually came out um, but it's all based in this illustration from reference process or method very kind of straightforward and streamlined conversations with people to facilitate a creative need. Um, so one of the focuses that I have for myself is how to take this process, this very kind of illustrative, um, fill up a page, not a lot of wordy uh, communication right away, and come up with an original uh, idea uh, on a time crunch, uh, for the most part, some of these projects are um, less than a month's worth of work, and these two projects here were handled um, mostly simultaneously, uh, with a few, like maybe it's the same project, it's the same client, but it, and it's the same process, and uh, you're often having to do multiple things to address uh, a few different uh, client requests. Uh, what What isn't shared uh, right in here on the board uh, is not only doing this sign, but also having to do work like this banner here, which required a logo and setup, and be presented to a client uh, in a printable format that they can just send off to their own uh, sign person to, to have printed off. Uh, so there needs to be a lot of uh, fluidity, a lot of communication between client and and uh, craftsman. I'm I have a hard time getting across to people that I'm not a graph. I'm not a typical graphic designer. I'm uh, somebody who has a solution for all kinds of creative uh, of needs. So, uh, very different from developing just a, a era-specific sign, this project here for the same client uh, had a need for some kind of uh, stand-in for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, namely a poster that was used, but uh, to really kind of flesh out the, the stand-in, uh, you also have to think about you have to almost imagine if this stuff were real, like this thing would need, if this were a big budget, big budget uh, production, you would be able to produce uh, stand-in figures and other kind of merchandise, t-shirts, to really nail, nail down the whole, this thing is a super popular toy and everybody wants it. And for this particular story of the film, uh, you need that kind of level of, of internal movie hype because there's a payoff at the end that makes it a kind of a, a, a chuckle. But I'm not even going to tell, or I probably just gave away the, the bad joke, but you don't even know what project this is yet. But um, I'm trying to keep this kind of concise. Ed. But this, as you can see, like, this is another project and there's there's a lot of visual uh, stuff to kind of sort through. And the best clients that I get are the ones who can look at all of these, this sketch work, this kind of visual mumbo jumbo, and then come back to me in a circle and say, this is what we want. And then I can say, okay, pay me, and then basically let's get the machine going i ho i hone in on their feedback and then whittle it down whittle it down until i come across something that i can stick with and then i continue to kind of refine this idea in this cake 
in this case, a character uh, for a for a product label and a marketing kind of campaign to to hype up the product. So we're zoom zoning in on very quick visual details and then build our way up to a very a final product, uh, a, a final sketch, which all of these printouts are being sent to the clients uh, in a PDF form so that they can review and then uh, we can continue working together to uh, hand off the elements to one another so that the task and the request is being met and fulfilled. Uh, and sometimes you have to do a lot for very little. Like this project that I'm sharing now was requested 10 original illustrations based off and evoking a feeling of a very specific kind of time area and um, and character vibe as as you're trying to fill the background of these films with a, as much personality as possible without having to like talk to an audience or really say anything there's a lot of just visual st static in the background that goes a long way and this particular project re required uh we shot for 10 but uh, only ended up getting nine original poster illustrations, um, all based off, like, very, kind of very on the nose, but just slightly off references to very popular uh, film projects, or films of the horror genre. So, we have suggestions for Chainsaw Face, and Chest Busters, A Nightmare on Oak Road, uh, water not included. The hills have I or the hills are alive. Um, murder doll. Roly poly balls of death. Uh, Tales from the creep bags. Uh, night night camp and mad mad or mad magicians from Mars. Um, so this particular project uh, took pl place in about a month's time, and I applied the same old process that I do. You do illustration of flash sheets and then you produce a, a rough sketch and then you scan in or you do your digital pass and then that's what you hand off to the client and they use it in the background of their film or they have uh, some kind of use for the, the final product. Um, and but it's all as you can see just pulling references to to the original thing but just working just slightly off but even just taking a, a small deviation and into a kind of a safe area to work so that these films don't get pinged by the actual owners of this art, uh, you have to come up with an entirely new kind of concept to put in its place. You have to make obvious changes, but you're still trying to invoke this same feel. I don't know why I'm focusing on Murder Doll, because that's really one of the worst of the bunch in terms of execution. Um, it had a lot of just uh, compromises to time, but it's one of my more favored uh, of visuals even though it is so close to the original uh, in its uh, conception. Um, some of these are are pretty rough because they again time was kind of a of the essence but I think there's a lot of like really strong uh, visuals and really solid references to the projects that we are the films that we were referencing. And some of them, even though I was pressed for time, turned out really, really well. Like, I really like the, the Chessbusters one. Uh, it references the Ghostbusters poster uh, kind of decently, but also gives you a, a, a feeling of um, aliens 
or Alien, because I guess this would be the sequel to Chess Buster. So, and as you can see, there's just a lot of work that goes into this stuff. Um, and that's very hard to get across to people who think that graphic designers or artists are just kind of pulling shit off of the internet and just presenting it to them and they're not willing to pay for the um for the time that goes into this stuff um and i do a huge disservice to the industry because i charge so little but i also work relatively fast and i'm also mindful of the production cost that goes into producing this stuff because um I like working and I like doing this stuff and I like creating or taking this process and doing it to to new things. So I'm not looking to like make a personal profit. I'm I charge 20 bucks an hour. But I also live in Muncie, Indiana where 20 bucks an hour is enough to get by um if I can get paid for it. Usually I don't. Um but that's a whole another video. But this is my process. This is the BCA method, uh, as I call it. And um, it's busy, busy, busy work. And there's a lot of energy to, to navigate through getting people the results that they want. Um, and sometimes different things. I mean, this is all a discovery process. But it yields fantastic results like pigs on the wing and there's turtle ninjutsu force again and there's our old friend skypup uh as you guys may or may not know skypup is a uh, comic series a zine that i developed over the course of this year and in fact this design right here is celebrating its one year anniversary of of existing and that project in and of itself is its whole own video as I share the zine making process and comic books and all of that other goody goodness. But you'll have to wait for another video because I'm tired of talking. Good night and bye.